it's a pretty special place, especially when it's all flooded and you have ducks coming in through the timber. It's gorgeous. Uh, I mean, it's, it's a beautiful old growth forest. Very few of them left in the state. There's an opportunity to log it and harvest it, but it really just did not fit my long-term goals. But for the first time now, forest carbon has come into the picture and I realized that, hey, there's another way to monetize on that forest other than cutting it down, other than going out here and clear cutting, you know, some of these beautiful bottomland hardwoods. And so that's how sort of Native State was born. We started with my property and a few others and my family's property. And We've got nearly 30 people in the company at this point in time and hundreds of thousands of acres. When we say we're going to do something, we pull through and we do it. I go in and make the actual land cover maps um, to give the landowner an idea of what part of their property is actually forested and uh, harvestable and what kind of credits they could generate from that. And if that looks good to them, then at that point we'll have the forestry team go out and survey it. They are measuring trees, they're measuring heights and diameters, they're quantifying them into 30 or 40 species so that when we estimate the carbon, it is as accurate as possible and we can make management recommendations for your land based on those plots. And then our environmental engineers and our biometricians are now doing biomass vegetation simulators, computer projections of the growth of trees. We will forward grow it for the next 40 years and we will model it many different ways, forwards and backwards, to try to figure out what, what works out best for that landowner, what generates the most carbon credits for that land. To be able to build a project that is probably going to be the largest private conservation project, at least in the state of Arkansas, it's going to leave a lasting legacy for generations. To be able to conserve that to where my family can have the opportunity and my grandkids can have the opportunity to walk through that, that same forest, set those same duck blinds, uh, those same deer stands, and have those life experiences. That's what I hope. That's what I'm planning on.